How's it going guys? You have asked me a lot of questions recently on my vlog and so in this video I want to respond to some of those. Let's go! One of the first questions that I was asked recently is how often do you think about moving back to the USA? And my answer is a thousand times a day times zero, which is to say not at all. Moving back to the US just isn't something in my short term, long term plans. Maybe one day I'll wake up and feel different about that. And I gotta say, you know, it's definitely a sacrifice being away from family and from close friends. But in terms of living in the USA, I just have an allergic reaction to that and I'm not sure they make medicine for that kind of allergy. So for me, the Philippines is my home. Definitely things here that drive me crazy at times as well. But when I really weigh everything going on in the world and what life is like here, this is definitely my preference. So when I think about the future, I definitely would like to spend more time out of the year in the US. You know, certainly four to six weeks, something like that. But I really would far rather be, especially in Southeast Asia, than I would rather be in the US. So if I was ever to leave the Philippines, Chances are I would probably think of somewhere like Vietnam or some other country that is not a Western country and that is not the US. Related, another person asked me, are you homesick? So am I homesick for the US? Definitely not for the culture or the country, but I am homesick for a lot of stuff. So physical things that you could get or systems and processes that just make everything so much more convenient or certain types of food or Amazon or Best Buy or other things like that that is just kind of stuff. It really doesn't make life better but it makes life more convenient. So I'm homesick for uh, things. I'm certainly homesick for people uh, that I really love and miss there but homesick for the culture? Uh, big fat no. Someone else asked, how are your forever feelings for the Philippines? So that's a question that I probably need to think a little bit harder about. You know, is this a country where I would want to live forever? Uh, I would say that's a definite maybe. Um, definitely this feels like a place that I'm comfortable, that I'm home. Um, there's definitely a lot of challenges here as well. Just. Uh, centered on work and work culture, uh, you know, which is still very much a part of my life. Things are just done so different. Mindset is just so different here. So there's a lot of those type of things that I'm still having to learn and grow and figure out and improve. Uh, but I think maybe, definitely a big maybe. Another question is, are you living in a house or a condo? So I currently own a condo over here uh, for the first, I guess, year and a half or so that I lived here. I rented out different Airbnb condos and it was a great opportunity to see what I thought of the condo, what I thought of the area. And then after a while, it just got to be the point where it wouldn't cost that much more to just simply, you know, be paying off my own condo instead of paying off somebody else's, you know, condo. So I didn't do it so much for an investment um, as, you know, it just kind of made sense. If I'm only gonna spend another hundred bucks or so a month, you know, to pay off my own mortgage and somebody instead of somebody else's. It just made a lot more financial sense for me for the long haul. That said, condos here are pretty small. And so definitely considering buying a house uh, maybe in the next year or something like that just to have a bit more room. The older I get, especially, you know, not having kids at home uh, anymore like I did when I was younger, condos are just so convenient. You know, there's no lawn to mow, there's, you know, maintenance people there to help out with stuff. So condos are still very convenient and, you know, really efficient in terms of time and things like that for me. But I think at some stage, I'd like to have a home over here as well. Another question was, how long until Philippines tourism will be back? I think that probably depends a little bit on where you uh, live, but I know here in Cebu City, I definitely see more foreigners over, I would say the last two months. 
foreigners have started kind of creeping back in. Um, but definitely, I think, nowhere near the rates of before the pandemic. People are, I think, either just trying out other countries uh, or, you know, the plane tickets still seem really high. You know, I know flying from the U.S. to the Philippines still costs about three times what it did uh, before the pandemic. So I'm sure there's some things like travel costs that are holding people back as well. And I think that a lot of people that were thinking about coming to the Philippines are now uh, also checking out other countries like Thailand or Vietnam. I'm starting to see a lot more people that were solely interested in the Philippines starting to consider some other countries uh, out there as well. But I think that tourism will really start to come back far more, probably starting in the beginning of 2023. And for a last question, actually perhaps not so much of a question, uh, but more of a comment, is someone mentioned that if you are having a business in the Philippines, chances are your overall profit margins will be so much lower because they're here in the Philippines. The thing with that is there are many different types of businesses. So if you have a business here in the Philippines, uh, for example, a Sari Sari store where it's kind of like a, a little convenience store, often part of somebody's home, something like that, sure, it's gonna have very low profit margins. But there's many types of businesses here as well where you could be selling to people in Western countries or countries where your profits are actually much higher because labor costs are lower here, but you're able to still sell at the same rate as you would overseas. So examples of businesses like that are, you know, drop shipping or any type of e-commerce uh, business where you are selling to people overseas. You might be the only employee in that case. So that really is gonna increase the profit margins because your business expenses are gonna be so low. But at other times you might have businesses even like I do here, where sometimes we're selling at a lower rate, but other times we're selling at exactly the same rate that we would in the US, but things like labor costs or rent costs are much, much lower. So I wouldn't automatically assume that just because you have a business in the Philippines, that the profit margins are gonna be a lot lower. If you have a business here where your overall costs for labor or uh, rent are much lower, but on the other hand, you're still able to sell at the same price you would if you were living in the US or Australia or another country, your profit margins are actually gonna be far higher than if you were still living in the US or Australia, England, wherever it happened to be, and we're paying wages over there. Anyhow, I always love receiving questions from you guys. So as always, feel free to drop a comment below, send an email that's in the description, reach out on Facebook or whatever makes the most sense for you. I'm always here to help out in any way I can. And as always, guys, thank you for taking the time to watch and take care. Oh, I, I think you're so, don't wanna fight you. you